each of the 64 events in each of the four timelines now has velocity control. So each of these bars, which represent an event, can control the dynamics of that event. In the event that you like your overall dynamic changes, you can scale them, either globally or individually, with these sliders. Each timeline can now contain any section, whether flutes, oboes, clarinets, or bassoons. Forty-one new rhythm patterns from which to choose. Sixteen new built-in velocity presets can be applied to any timeline globally or independently. And you can revert, whether globally or individually, using these buttons. We've created new ostinato intervals, mini scales, mini arpeggios, and mini ornamentations. To access these, go to the Transpose page. Obviously, you can transpose each of the timelines here. Next, we can choose some really fun ostinato patterns. You can choose from a list of ostinatos using a drop-down menu or a slider. Let's try this out by first soloing the clarinets. If you want to revert, just drag the slider all the way to the left. As you can hear, the default pattern plays your note twice, and then plays the interval's note twice. You can change that pattern here.
you should note that if you've selected an arpeggio or a scale, the pattern choice option goes away. Here we have a randomize button. Fun, right? But what if we think that the intervals are too small or too big? We can constrain them using the max or min sliders here. And of course, we can reset the entire timeline here. Next, we come to the Step Composer. To start, click the Step button here. Play any note or hit the rest button if you want that note in the sequence to be silent. Here I'll demonstrate a short method of creating an arpeggio with rests between each note. When I'm done, I click Keep. As you can see, the note's velocity has been composed here, and the note's intervals have been composed here. Now when I play any note, the arpeggio will follow that note. Since I played a major arpeggio, the sequence also plays a major arpeggio no matter what note I play. But if I want to constrain this arpeggio to a particular key, I can do that here. If I like what I've done in this timeline, I can copy and paste it to any other timeline. So I copy here, and then paste here. To reset the velocities, I click here. And like before, I click here to reset the transposition. We can now pan any of the 64 events on the pan page here. Stereo pan the whole timeline here. Or hard pan using the event table here. Or I can randomize here. And obviously, I just click here to reset. We've now added three exciters. To access them, go to the Mix page.